Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add magic and ambiguity to the ending of your songs. We're going to look at some examples. We're going to look at when to use an ambiguous ending and why you would want to use it. And then I'll show you how to actually uh, build these magical endings. Uh, a reminder that this video is part of a monthly accordion challenge that we do over on the Accordion Left Forums. Uh, it's a fun and easy way to apply this lesson uh, and the lessons that we do over here on Accordion Love. Uh, you can participate with people from all over the world and students that participate in six challenges over the course of a year get exclusive Accordion Love merchandise. So if you're interested, check out the links in the description. Good, let's get started. Um, endings of songs. We've learned a few endings of songs this past year. Uh, there's a shave and a haircut, two bits. There's a blues ending. There's the walk-up ending. This ending specifically, the point of today, these extensions apply really well to minor songs um, where we want to have a bit of ambiguity. I'll give you some examples. Sometimes we have final endings, endings with a finality. There, and there's silence. We can also end the song with ambiguity. Right, kind of like a James Bond, or... Kind of leaves it open for additional notes, kind of leaves it open to connect to another song. It, it leaves the audience with a lingering of... Of, oh, that was interesting. Again, I'll choose a D minor. First, a final, a final, a finality to the song. And applause versus. Applause, but it leaves a hint of surprise and ambiguity. If a finality is the meat, the extension, the is like cinnamon and salt and pepper. It's a bit of an aftertaste. So when do we use this? You've heard extensions. You've heard these ambiguous chords all your life. Um, I use them frequently at the end of songs. I just did a song, El Condor Pasa, um, and the ending, um, how did it go? Ta-da! I used an E with a G over it. And again, it's just a hint of ambiguity at the end of the song, which I kind of like. You could use this technique on any end of a minor song. Uh, even Shostakovich's second waltz. It might work, it might not, but stay with me for a little bit. Good. So, what are extensions? What am I doing to make the chord not final? A chord contains three notes. A chord contains the root note. I'm looking at C minor. The root note the third note, and the fifth note. We call the one, three, five. That's a very solid note, right? I'll play it with my left hand, the C minor. Extensions are additional notes that we can play on top of that chord. Extensions can be anything. On top of a C minor, I could play a C sharp. That'll be an extension. It won't sound very good. Oh. There's dissonance, but that's what an extension is. Given the body of the chord, an extension is an additional note that we play on top of the chord. Now, so you don't choose a C minor, what's the formula for these magical endings? Let me show you. How we built a C minor, I do have a lesson on the actual formula, but we choose the root, we skip a note, choose the minor, 
skip a note, hit that note. We're going to keep doing that. We're going to skip a note. So we're going to go plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. That's the formula. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Here's what it looks like. A C minor with a B flat, a D, an F, and an A. May not look like a C minor, but these are the extensions of a C minor. To end the song this way, we could choose any of those notes to add to our root notes. So, or, or don't use a root note. So I could end with a G and an F, or a G and a D. I could end with an E flat and an A, if I can reach. Ooh, beautiful. There's a C minor with an extension, with a six. I could end with a C and an F. Even though it does sound better this way. Very jazzy, very ambiguous. Let's do another example, a D minor. Let's keep adding. So skip, 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 skip. Yeah, there's that open sound. To end the D minor song. Um, What I did there was the A, C, E, G, right? And below it was the D minor. You hear how it opens up the chord. Now, um, when, when do we use this? There are two ways of ending a song this way. Let, let me show you that and it might click a little bit tighter. Um, if we have a D minor song, we could end it in a few ways. And let's let, let's use a C minor. Let's use that Chestakovich example. So that's the ending of the song. There are two ways of ending a song using extensions. One is to hit the last note and add the extension. So you hit the last note of the song and you add an extension pause and add the extension. The other way is to replace the last note of the song with one of an, with an extended note. And it all depends. Um, there's no correct answer, but let me show you and it will ultimately be your ear that gauges which is the correct answer. So let's use Summertime and let's use Shostakovich's second waltz. So that's the last note. Pause and choose an extension. In rhythm. Let's choose another extension. Let's choose another extension. Cool. So again, we hit the last note and then add an extension. Let's do the other method, which is replacing the last note with an extension. I don't know if that will sound great on Shostakovich's second waltz. Again. The audience is expecting, but we're giving them or, or, yeah. That's an extension ending. I don't know if I would use that one. Fine, let's use summertime. Let's do summertime in G minor, and we'll use the ending where we hit the last note, 
pause and play the extension. And then we'll do the other ending, which is replacing the last note with an extension. So summertime, hush little baby. <laughs> Again, let's do the version where we hit the last note and then do the extension. Okay, but I think the second version will sound better here where we don't hit the last note and we end it in a, with an extension. Right? It should be, hush, little baby, don't you cry. But instead we're doing, don't you cry. Yeah, it kind of works, kind of jazzy. And I think that's where some of the roots of these extensions really live. And that's where our ears are familiar with it. Good. So, again, how we build it is we take the... I'll show you a little shortcut too. If we're in D minor, we build the D minor, one, three, five, and we keep, keep building. Right? One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Good. Now, there is a trick that works especially good with accordions. You look at the last chord of the song, which is typically the first chord of the song too. Uh, in summertime, our last chord was G minor. The extensions on my right hand will be the fifth of the final chord. The final chord is G minor. On accordion, the fifth is a D, the one that's closer to my chin. And I'm going to choose that D minor. There's my D minor. There are the extensions. Given a, it doesn't matter what, given an E minor last chord. My extensions, I'll pause, will be this chord, the B minor. Ooh, beautiful, airy, ambiguous, mysterious. Good. Uh, given a B flat minor ending on my right hand, I'm going to play the F minor. There's that ambiguity. Why an F minor? Because I'm here and the one that's closest to my chin, the next chord up is an F and I play the F minor with my right hand. Some tips for you. The song that you're playing, the songs that you're used to, playing in D minor and A minor and G minor, uh, Moscow Nights, right? Uh, Katyusha, Bella Ciao, any of the Italian Tarantellas. Um, find those chords. For me, there are a lot of D minor, G minor, and A minor. And just practice. If the song's in G minor, I'm going to play G minor with a D minor. If the song's in A minor... It's not an A minor. If the song is in D minor, I'm going to play an A minor on my right hand. And start introducing that to your songs to see what sounds good, which brings us to our monthly challenge. So those of you participating in the monthly challenge, your challenge for January 2022 is to show me an, one of these endings, an extended ending, on a song of your choice. It could be the song that you composed last month in the December challenge. It could be any song. I strongly suggest using a minor song. So it could be Bella Chow. Just show me the ending. Um, so maybe just this. Sure. Or... I like that second one better. 
that's what the monthly challenge is. Post over, post your results over on the Accordion Love forums. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Enjoy.